it going guys? My name is Ben Pacheco, I'm from Rapax Fly Fishing. Uh, you can find us at rapaxflyfishing.com. Uh, we specialize in uh, fly fishing uh, for warm water species such as smallmouth bass, largemouth, uh, pike, uh, walleye, um, you name it. Uh, today I wanted to give you a little bit of information on what type of setup uh, that I specifically use for uh, fishing for smallmouth and largemouth. Uh, so I'm going to discuss a little bit about the rod that I use. Um, a little bit um, about the flies. I'll give you a couple of examples of flies that I use um, that's been successful for me. Uh, so let's start with the rod. So um, for bass fishing you do want to have a little bit of a heavier setup. You will uh, manage with a five weight um, but you do want to go a little bit higher. Uh, me personally um, I prefer to uh, use an eight weight. Um, since I'm out on lakes most of the time um, the 8 weight also helps you in the wind. It, it helps you give you a little bit more power um, to cast these heavier flies. Um, some of them are quite bulky. Um, and uh, if the wind is gusting, um, like the 8 weight definitely helps to cast them out. So what I'm using here is a, it's a 9 foot uh, rod. Uh, it's an Echo Solo. It's an 8 weight. Uh, I rig it on uh, a sinking line. Uh, this particular one here is a, a sink 3, I believe. Um, and it's a sink 3 line from Orvis. Uh, you do want to have a sinking line. Um, floating lines, uh, I wouldn't really recommend, uh, since most of the time you do uh, want to get down deeper in the water column. Um, so the sink 3 is a good um, starting line. Um, if you want to change lines for the situation, you can get uh, sink 5, sink 7, um, so on and so forth. This one here is the sink 3, it's, I think it sinks like 4, uh, 5 inches per second. Uh, so you just have to have a little bit of patience while the uh, fly and the line is sinking down in the water. Uh, in terms of the flies, uh, what I generally use is uh, poppers, uh, sliders, clouser minnows, um, some more minnow patterns tied on fish skulls. Uh, I'll show you this one here. So this is just a perch imitator, imitator um, that is tied on a fish skull. Um, I tie them, um, these types of flies, anywhere from a size 2 to a 4 out. Um, that gives you a good range uh, of different hook sizes. Uh, here's this is a standard popper. Uh, it's got a foam head, it's got a uh, schlap and tail. Um, and some marabou collar. Uh, the sliders are great. Um, they do float, um, but when you uh, pull the line, they will actually dive down. Uh, they're terrific for smallmouth. Uh, when they don't really tend to hit them right on the surface, um, but when you do want to see them go down into the water column a little bit more. Uh, and probably the best uh, fly there is for bass, uh, it's the Clouser Minnow. Uh, I'll uh, put up a video showing how to tie the clouser minnow. Uh, it's basically a, a bucktail pattern, uh, two different colors of bucktail, uh, some uh, crystal flash, and uh, it's tied um, with dumbbell lies. Uh, gives you, um, it's a fly that gets down in the water column fairly fast. It's a great um, minnow uh, Im imitator. Um, it's easy to cast, uh, so it's a good all-around fly. If you only need one fly to go fly fishing for bass, this will be the one. Uh, this one I tie anywhere from natural colors, uh, like this one, uh, to black uh, and more colorful like chartreuse is great for smallmouth, for example. Um, last but not least, um, I do tie a little bit uh, crazier flies in terms of color. Uh, this is a chartreuse uh, orange fly, it's a one out I believe. Um, it's got a, a cone head a bead here. Um, this is more of a jigging type of fly. Um, I have this skirt around here, uh, the rubble legs. Um, it's great for largemouth. Uh, this one you can pitch in into cover um, and pull out uh, the big old bucket mouth. So for the storage of the flies, what I use is uh, basically a, a boat box storage uh, box. Um, it does uh, take quite a few flies. I probably have like 20-30 flies in here. Uh, it's great for the larger uh, patterns. Uh, so you've got some, there's another one, it's a Senko imitator. Um, so that's basically it, that's what I use. Um, 
Right now we're up at this beautiful lake in Ontario, uh, in the North Pontiac region of Canada. Uh, the lake is loaded with smallmouth um, and we've had great success. Uh, we caught like 10-15 fish a day at least. Uh, the biggest one so far has been a four pounder on the fly. Uh, the four pounder actually struck on the Klaus Rimino. Uh, so it's been all great couple of days. Right. If you have any questions, uh, just leave uh, them in the comment section, and uh, I will be happy to answer any questions you might have. Right. Cheers, guys.